Uh, watched the football last night. To be honest, um, not disappointed, but I thought Brighton would have put up more of a show than that. To be honest. Yeah, they they started the game off quite well. To be fair, Brighton, you know, playing some um, some neat stuff, but some of the mistakes. I mean, I'm all for playing from the back, oh. but when City like press you that well, that high. Sometimes you've got to like miss out a player. Gab, you can't do it against. Yeah, uh, that Foden keeper, goal. I don't know who the keeper. I think the keeper thinks he's backing back. Yeah, yeah, but that's how the manager wants him to play. Um, well, it doesn't work. They've been battered four 0 at home. Yeah, yeah, and it was one of them games that after the first fifteen twenty where Man City just got into it, and it, it was a bit of a easy day at the office. For Manchester oh, it was a City. Stroll. Yeah, stroll. it was a stroll. It's now went to bed after an hour. It was a stroll. Yeah, he had he had the joy pep of bringing off Foden and Kevin De Bruyne after 72 minutes then he brought off Walker then he brought off Rodri you know it was one of them well, everyone could come off have a rest now mm. let's look at um, our next game but Brighton they need to they need to find some form Brighton they, <coughs> they really do, do. as I said yesterday they're a funny old side Brighton uh, can turn it on can get great results and then they can be bang average I'm afraid they're playing against the best for me he's still the best team in Europe yeah, you, can't, you can't play like that. But if you look at Brighton's record, they've won just six of their last 27 mm. Premier League games, drawn 11, lost 10. So as much as they're playing neat, nice, tidy football, we've got to get some better results. Yeah. Uh, but Phil Ford, he's got to be delighted, isn't he? Oh. Uh, let's hear uh, another couple for Phil in a 4 0 victory. And then there were two. Well, after watching Arsenal bounce back to Blitz, Chelsea and Liverpool's form fall off a cliff. Pep Guardiola's side know they can't afford to take their foot off the gas. Walker in towards De Bruyne. Oh, it's a brilliant diving header over the top of Jason Steele. And it's a really well-taken goal from Kevin De Bruyne. Knowing how difficult is Brighton away, so we struggle in the last years. And we were lucky to score the first goal in the first time. It's given away inside the box. Foden is there to bury it. 3-0 to Manchester City who are blowing away Brighton in this first half, and Phil Foden is at its heart. I feel we're seeing history in the making here, one of the best teams English football's ever seen. We are not in the right condition to compete against uh, the big, big teams in Premier League. Walker has taken the ball down as a long ball goes up towards the edge of the area, he cuts inside, he's only got steel to beat, sets it up for Alvarez into an empty net, it's 4-0. Another day, another win, another step forward to the unprecedented. We know we are there, that is a, a dream. Five wins and it will be four Premier League titles in a row, no matter how good the rest are. Well, it's not that bad. Right? You're, looking at the, you're looking at the fixtures and you're saying Tottenham hold the key here, don't they? Against Arsenal weekend and against City. Yeah, but I'll just look at this City team, Al, and last night, you know, you got people on social media saying, are they better without Haaland? Are they the same? Without Haaland, I'll say, I wouldn't say they're better, but they find a way. Alvarez, last night, sharp, comes off, gets involved, um, took his goal well, should have probably scored another couple with chances he had. But you look at De Bruyne, Foden, you know, that mm. Doku and Grealish on the bench, Al. You know, they're bringing yeah. on Rico Lewis, who was a very good fullback. Like, Stones on the bench. Do, do this Manchester City team just find a way now, even if they have to go and beat Spurs away, which is their bogey team. I feel like if that's the game that wins you the title, they go and do it. <coughs> Excuse me, Pep side now, unbeaten in 30 games in all competitions and making them only the third English top flight side to go over 30 matches without defeat. So no problem there. Uh, the Chunk and Jason Cundy were back in the sports bar last night. Take your calls after the full-time whistle to discuss whether City are better without star striker Haaland. They're different. I wouldn't say better, just different. Well, they are better. They win. Yeah, but they... and they score and they're free flowing. And listen, not it's, it what? is no disrespect to Haaland because he's an unbelievable player. We know that. But Manchester City right now, mm. you have to look at the facts. They're a better side without him. Well, then watch out Arsenal because if they can find a way without Haaland to win and still look as good, then you know this side is just the best side in, in the country, and they have been, and they will probably go on and win it again. Uh, there you go, the boys on the sports bar. Arsenal legend Manny Petit won the Premier League during his time in North London. He joined uh, Drive yesterday and told them what it takes to go over the line. You know that every single game, every single point is more important than ever. And you know that uh, every single mistake, every when you miss concentration on the pitch, then you, you, you can lose the game. So it's on details, but for me, it's mental. If you keep believe 
And if you keep up the confidence of you in the team that you, you're going to win the title, then this is for me, if you, are, if you are convinced about that, I think for me this is very important. You have to believe in it. If you are you're not confident 100%, if you are listening to criticism or the frustration or the pressure from uh, um, people or even in, in your club, then you're going to lose the title. You have to be convinced f everybody in the club must be convinced they're going to win the, the, the title. Well, I think there was a little bit of pressure on City last night with Arsenal winning like they did against Chelsea, but now the pressure's back on Arsenal as they go to Spurs. Yeah, I mean, if you're Spurs, like we said yesterday, Al, they've had two weeks um, with no game. Spurs should be fresh, but like you said, Arsenal, they're at it. You know, Declan Rice at it, Odegaard at it. The whole team, to be honest, they're, they're, they're bang at it. So it's going to be a, one of them classic games. Looking forward to it, but I think Arsenal find a way to win. I feel like with the players they've got. You mean against Spurs? Yeah, against Spurs, they find a, a way to win. But I just look at City. I just don't see City dropping points. Forest yeah. away. Forest need points, but they'll find a way, Manchester City. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.